do we have here? Oh, sorry. Uh, <coughs> being shadowed, I guess, um, today. <clears throat> I'm guessing that is who you are, right? Right, right, okay. Mm. So apologies. Um, my name is Dr. Smith. It's nice to meet you. Yes, okay. And, um, you are again. remember that. Um, I apologize. Um, my vision's not the best today. I, um, lost my, you know, my normal glasses, and, uh, these are, um, an older pair, and, um, I'm afraid I think my prescription has changed. Anyway, um, <clears throat> oversharing. Um, it's nice to meet you. How did you get in here? In a new gate okay, supervisor. Okay, all right. Um, very well. Um, since you're going to be a, another case supervisor, which don't get me wrong, I'm very excited to have you aboard. I've been handling all of the cases myself, and it's been a bit <laughs> overwhelming. So I appreciate all the help here. I'm sure you kind of know how things work around here, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. And, um, yeah, so let's just, uh, go ahead and get started. Um, hopefully you won't have an early retirement. Sorry, um, <clears throat> dark humor, okay. <clears throat> so it looks like today we will be, uh, taking a look at, uh, SCP. 1499. I have their file right here. And did they debrief you at all on SCP 1499? Okay. I'll kind of go over it with you a little bit here. I guess my reputation for <clears throat> I see. I suppose I have gotten myself into um, some sticky situations, but uh, I'm still here, so I must not be doing that bad of a job. <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and start the audio log and have a small talk. Um, starting audio log. Zero zero one for SCP one four nine nine object classification is safe. The date is October twenty second, twenty twenty three, and the time is sixteen hundred. For the audio log, I am doing a shadow evaluation today, and we have our new case supervisor with me as well, so mark that in the audio log that there will be a second voice. Okay. All right, so I'm sure you've seen this, though, from your previous rank. A lot of these files have been classified, and you will see a lot of things redacted. Now, at our, or your newer level and my classification level, a lot of the redactions are now gone, though occasionally you will find something still redacted. Between you and me, since I'm the one training you, there are ways around that, but we'll get to that at a later date. Now, 
<clears throat> Let's go over SCP-1499 file here. It says... Special Containment Procedures <clears throat> SCP-1499 is to be kept in a locked box guarded by two agents at all times which, since they let you in, I'm guessing you saw right outside the door Okay, good And it looks like we have the box right next to you there, yes <laughs> Testing involving SCP-1499 requires the authorization of Level 4 personnel and it's to be discontinued indefinitely, however, I've gotten a little bit of a workaround here. Um, <clears throat> someone owes me a favor, so... Well, I find it hard to do my job if I can't meet with the SCPs that I'm the case supervisor for. Right. So I like to meet them at least once, kind of do a quick little evaluation, just to confirm with the file that everything is correct. And not like hearsay, I like to see for myself. Alright. <clears throat> now, test subjects are to wear a small, full, duplex two way radio underneath which you are strapped up with, correct? Good, 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 good. Just let me make sure it's correct if you don't mind. Just pull it aside here. Okay. Yes, good, good, good. Okay. <clears throat> and we should be able to hear each other. Testing, testing. Yes, through that. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is so we can maintain contact with researchers if the other one were to put on the mask, but we'll get into more of that here in a second. Now, testing is no longer to be carried out by D-class personnel due to risk of losing SCP-1499, which is why I've brought you here with me today. I thought this would be a good one for the two of us to try out. Plus, I didn't really want to investigate this SCP by myself on the off chance I needed a little help. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Now, should test subjects enter any sort of danger, you are to remove SCP-1499 immediately. Okay? Um, sh no, it's nothing. It's nothing. You're going to be Absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, you would be the one putting it on. Oh, well, I can't. Um, since I'm the case supervisor, you know, I have to be here for research purposes in the research center. Yeah, but you're going to do just great. Mm -hmm. I have complete faith in you after all. You have to be good if you got up to this level. Okay. Now, description. SCP-1499 is a Soviet GP-5 gas mask. Mm -hmm. Now, well, SCPs can be anything, I'm sure you know this. Yeah. And trust me, I have seen some doozies. Now, a sealed test performed on the object suggests that the object retains its original functionality. So it does still work as The anonymous effects of SCP-1499 activate when a human places it on their head. Approximately one second after, it is fully secured on the subject's head. The subject vanishes from view, okay? And this becomes no longer detectable, but we can still maintain our radio functionality. So that is why we have our little radios on on our chests. Now, <clears throat> Upon wearing SCP-1499, test subjects report completely different surroundings. Subjects have reported that the area appears barren and inhospitable. Yes, with black towers filling the area. They also cite seeing, um, <clears throat> said nothing, just cite seeing entities in the landscape. Entities, but that could be anything. Mm -hmm. They could be seeing things, it could be trees. Right, it's desolate. Correct. You'll be fine. Now, these 
These entities have been designated as SCP-1499-1. You know, very creative. And um, they're described as tall, nude. So, a little better, right? <clears throat> uh, humanoids with dark skin and a thick coat of an unknown. We'll want to get a sample of that. Now, instances of SCP-14991 also have large amounts of eyes and mouths covering their body. Once you remove SCP-1499 from your head, subject appears in the same location they were put in before. See? See test log 1499 for more should be good there. Now, with me here, I have some previous case notes. As you can see, some of it is redacted, but some of it is not. And it basically just talks about how most of the agents who have put on the mask have found themselves in an unknown building a black substance. They were able to survey the room and they've heard some noises, something about needed someone with stealth training, and they went in there and they saw two entities violently assault one another, an unknown flu thing. It's nothing, I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, and then there's a redacted one here. So, I'm sure it went well. Yeah, I'll be here to help you along the way. No. look at our files here. I was able to get my hands on a redacted envelope. So as I mentioned, there are ways around things. So, just going to... I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, so we'll look at it together. able to get my hands on the redacted case files. Me and Tramie are going to go ahead and take a look at it and then we'll start our evaluation of SCP-1499. Okay, it says the test commenced on June 3rd and then the year is redacted, but my guess would be last year. Agent K outfitted with a two-way radio earpiece and a standard foundation side arm with additional immune Agent's mission is reconnaissance. Agent places SCP on head and vanishes from sight. And then it says, Doctor, can you hear me? Yes, Agent, what do you see? And between two structures, they resemble spires. They seem to be made of a hard black rock. Ground is the same. Have you made contact with any SCP-14991? Not yet, it's hard to tell. The lighting is odd and I'm having trouble seeing. There's a large group of them up ahead. They're all moving into a huge building. They're very big. There aren't many structures around it. It's quite elaborate. I see a large amount of towers and spikes, and there looks like there's blood on it. They're fine. See, everything's fine. Still, they just noticed it. There's some, some sort of bridge I'm moving in. I'm at the side of the structure. There looks like there's some sort of door here, smaller than the big one in front. I'm going through it now. <clears throat> this rule sounds hard a few steps ahead. Not sure. Coming from further inside, I'm taking a look. Agent, what do you see? There's a lot of them in here. They're all in a giant group. Their mouths are all open. Even the ones on their bodies, I think that sound is coming from them. Can you hear it? Hmm. They're all facing one direction. Let me take a look. They're, they're all 
not facing them on a platform. There's a large amount of bodies. They've stopped vocalizing. And all are just looking at the one up front. It appears the one in front is cutting open its own torso. And there's some sort of worm-like creature spilling out. Way above its head, I think I see there's something in its torso that's creating some sort of light, like a beam into the air overhead. I think it's opening a portal. The entity is summoning something. I think it's something coming through the portal. It looks like a massive version of a worm. I think the glowing object is holding the portal open. I've got to stop it. I've almost got... Got it now. The remainder of the agent sentence is unheard as he removes SCP-1499. Test chamber covered in blood holding a human heart. It's alright, I got. Agent looks at the heart in his hand and yells, dropping it. End of law. See, I'm sure it's fine. They don't know what heart it is. And, uh, they were fine. They made it back safely. They took off the mask and everything was fine. So you're gonna be fine. <clears throat> Ooh, addendum. On Sunday, June 3rd, a man dressed in a suit wearing a gas mask attacked. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. So, um, yep. Nothing. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to get on my gloves here. Um, no, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. You have some gloves as well, right? Okay. Alright. I have the containment keys right here. Here we have the gas mask. So let's go ahead and start by taking some samples and then I'll have you put it on and then we'll get some more samples. So all right. Mm. I'm gonna start by grabbing my light. Hold on. my light right here and we're just going to scan it for any markings or anything. There does seem to be a substance on it. Here. Since you're going to be wearing it, you can become like accustomed to it. Yeah, you hold it for me. It makes it easier. on yet, but just hold it up for me so I can check yeah, the substance here. It's glowing under the light, so I'm going to want to take a quick sample. Okay, 
Okay. So let's start by giving it a quick disinfectant. me and just going to spray that all over there. I'll just splend that around here. little bit of this, which should help me remove a specimen sample without getting it contaminated. So I'm just going to give this a shake here. For the audio log, I'm going to attempt to retrieve a sample from the other dimension or world that the ooze off there. Not sure what it is, but I'll just get a tiny bit of it and I'll send it to the lab for testing. Good, 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 good. Gross. Okay. Perfect. Now you're doing a great job. I need. Now it's just a matter of testing purposes. So if you just want to go ahead and, uh, yeah, go ahead 
and uh, put that on for me. It'll be okay.